שלום לכם. We are in Ziman Tafrashayin Zayin. The Alcha speaks about Achsenai, a guest by somebody's house. Does he light his own candle? The Shulchan Aruch writes that he does not light his own candle, but rather he is Yotze together with the host, which means he participates together with the host by joining, uh, by giving him a certain amount of money, a puta, that acquires him a certain amount in the oil, and therefore it becomes a partner, it becomes part of that mitzvah. Says the Ramah, that is true for the Shulchan Aruch, for Sfaradim, Ashkenazim, that light their own candles, may light his own uh, candle, as we know that, uh, and we learned in the past, that the Ramah holds that each person in the household can light his own menorah. So therefore it could either be Yotze, as me, Karadin, with the host, or light his own candle. But Sfaradim would light one candle per house, or one menorah per house, and therefore he needs to be mishtatef together with the host. That is true only if they don't light for him in his own house. If one is a guest by somebody's house, but they light for him in his own house, let's say he's away and his wife is home and she lights, so he's yotze together with his wife's lighting. That's what he writes. The Mishnah Boa explains, doesn't have to be that he actually gives the money. There's another way, and that is that the host will gift a part of the oil to the guest. How does he do it? Gift it with a kinyan. Let's say he picks it up, it's a kinyan agba. With that, he becomes part of the mitzvah in his house. Says the Mishnah Bura that bachurim, that light in, uh, in the yeshiva, should also light their own menorah, or be mishtatef, as the Shulchan Aruch would hold, together with either the Rosh Yeshiva, or if they live by somebody's house while they're learning Yeshiva, they light over there. And that is only true for Ashkenazim, for Sfaradim. If a Yeshiva boy is in Yeshiva, they light for him in the house, his parents, and therefore he's Yotze with them, he doesn't need to light at all. There's a question in Halakha, what should Sfaradim do when they are, let's say, in Israel and the parents live in America, and the seven hours difference, in Israel already it's time to light. Should they light because the lighting of their parents is way after that? According to the Orle Zion, they could light their own menorah, and they should light their own menorah, and have in mind not to be yotzeh with the parents. Cham although he agrees partially, but he says that one is able to be yotzeh with his parents, although it's later Hadlaka. Over here, the Shulchan Aruch writes that if this guest has his own entrance, let's say he lives in the basement, he has his own entrance, therefore he needs to light, although he's together with the host and his Yotzeh with them, but he needs to light his own candles in the opening of his basement uh, door or window. That is because of Hashad. People would suspect him that he didn't light. That's what he writes. <laughs> Over we find another machlok that Shulchan Aruch and the Ramah. Shulchan Aruch writes that you light in the place of sleeping. The Ramah adds, Yesh omrim shebazman Hashem madlikim bifnim mamash, edlik bemakom shochel vechenagu. Ramah holds that you light in the place of eating. Very relevant for Yeshiva Bachurim, that light. And according to that, there will be a difference between the Shulchan Aruch and the Ramah. Shulchan Aruch would hold that they light in the dorm. The Rama would like, would say that they light in the place which they eat. And it uh, also comes out like this, Halakha Lemaaseh, in different places as well. Where do you light in the house? Is it better to light in the place that you sleep or that you eat? Lemaaseh, the Minhag in America is to light by the window, as we explained already in the past. And if one that can't light by the window, let's say the window is not facing Rashut Arabim, it's facing his backyard, he doesn't have one that's facing the front, so therefore there's no Pirsuma Nisa to anybody, he could light on the table, that is the Minhag in America. In Israel, the Minhagim are different, many of hold that the Minhag is to light outside the house, that's what they have over there, especially over Yashiv held like this very strongly. Over here that we learned that one could be Mishtatef, that is a question whether the Ishtatfut is so, when he's completely a guest by somebody's house, which means he eats by them, and he's totally 
part of the family when he's there, he doesn't pay for his stay, then maybe also is yotze with that as well. That is the opinion that is brought down over here. Moreover, it says over here in the Mishnah Buah that when one lights, as we explained, that's only, or be yotze with the host, as we explained, that's only when they don't light for him in his house. But if he's not sure whether they light for him in his house or not, he should light his own candles and be yotze with lighting because he doesn't know for sure that they light. Not only that, for sure they don't light in his house, even if he's doubtful whether they light in his house or not, he should light his own candles. Moreover, says the Mishabwa, even if he came home afterwards, later, and his wife told him that she lit already for him, since he didn't have that in mind at the time of lighting, he has to light his own menorah again with a bracha.